Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. Holy shit! We made it to 500 episodes! What the absolute hell is going on? We're going to kick off with a blast from the past. I think it's the first video that was ever uploaded to my YouTube channel. This is for you guys. I love you lots. Let's do it. What's up, everybody? It's your bad uh, What's going on here? God, autoplay is uh, started again. What's going on, everybody? That was me from the past, way before. Uh, that was actually attractive me. <laughs> before, before the disease kicked in. Before the dark times. Before the empire. Um, hey, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the show. It's episode 500. Amazing shit. I can't believe we got here. I've, who even dreamed of this happening? It's it's quite outrageous, really. So uh, let's uh, do the usual stuff. Hey, if you're watching along and it's your first time here, there's 500 episodes for you to go back. And roughly out of those, there's probably like 60 interviews. There's probably about, I don't know, maybe 50 kind of special events and odd kind of shows. And the rest of them are all app reviews. And how to make music and stuff like that. So make sure you go back through the catalog because there seems a shit there to go and listen to and watch and uh, see me make a fool of myself. Like uh, the first episode, which is terrible. Uh, let's do this stuff. There is a Facebook group, it is right there. Boom! Uh, we all rise together. You can go and join up, share your music and all that kind of stuff. It's really neat. Also, it shows telecast daily on the Twitch. Over there at twitch.tv slash how to app on iOS. Also, I have a Patreon, which every weekend, master your songs and uh, do stuff, giveaways, stuff like that. And uh, and things like Jerry Gomes, who's here, who sends in a track. And we had all this struggle and all this dilemma and all this stuff. But you know what? Persevered and got it done because that's what we do here. Mate, you, I, never die, man. Never die. Never give up. That is the thing. Never die. That is my motto. It's a YouTube channel. Hit the like if you're here. Uh, if you're on the replay, hit the like if you like. If you don't like, don't like it. You know, do whatever you like at the end of the day. Uh, just don't hit the dislike. 
or you can subscribe and all that stuff. Let's say hello to all of you beautiful people who are here in the chat today because we've got some cool stuff. Well, I'll be honest. I don't have anything planned for today. Nothing at all. I'm just going to talk shit and I've got some guests coming on and I'm going to have a look at some funny things that have happened during the 500 episodes. You know what? I don't really plan stuff. I don't like planning stuff. I think it comes out as a bit forced. So why pl even plan the 500th episode? Hello to Three Stig. Congratulations, 500. Hello to you. Hello, Audible Video. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for the kind words and for being here. Gary Hobbs. Thank you. Good to see you. Joe Glenn. Kim Harden uh Barry Glenn is here as well. He's fresh from the sheep dip. I am excited today. I'm hyped up. Um, it's rare at 8.07 in the morning. <laughs> Gary O'Sullivan. Uh, Greg Gary O'Sullivan. Gary O. Hubs. <laughs> Get it out. <laughs> Gregory O'Sullivan. I have an idea. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, SM Borthwick. Thomas Christ. Good to see you. I've, I'm sure I saw you only a little while ago. Did I say SM Borthwick? I don't know. Scott, good to see you. Michael Nervous, hello to you. Um, what's that? Oh, boom. Hello. Where did that come from? <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. Um, thank you, Super Chat. Um, I can't see it because I'm like all the way up here. There it is. Thank you, Welton Kinder. There you go. Man, I'll catch up. Where am I, am I saying hello to people? Uh, Pete Johns. Pete Johns. Uh, I might see you soon, Pete Johns. Who knows? Who knows what's in the cards? So I'm looking at my tarot cards right here, the invisible tarot cards I don't own. And it says Pete Johns is in my future. Um, hello, Seba. Good to see you. Trimmer Bear who uh, I may be playing a song of on a future show, maybe tomorrow. You never know. Um, Kev Hart, th thanks. Hang on, I better do this. Let me get this thing sorted out down here. Let me do these. What's going on, man? Go here, go here. Hey, thanks, Kev, for the super chat. Oh, man, all oh, my things. Oh, it's all ruined. <laughs> There's too many people in the chat. It's gone crazy. There we go. I think I can do it now. There it is. Thank you, Kev, for the super chat. Thank you very much. Um, I haven't even got through saying hello to everyone. Thank you, Welton Kinder as well, or Welton Kinder, or right on, right on, as Ron would say. Welton Kinder. <laughs> right on, where's my wig? Right on, right on, right on. Maybe I'll do some impersonations today. Who knows? Fucking hell. It's a good day. Um, Paying to get hello to you. Oh, man, I don't have sound effects. That's the one thing I forgot to add to the new board. Because I've got a new board today. Uh, ting. There you go. Pain to get. There's your sound effect. Uh, who else do I have to say hello to? Because there's heaps of you here. Thank you all for being here. Sorry, and good to see you. Andy Goldsby, hello. Good to see you. Uh, Dave Fox, hello to you. Uh, I should be looking up here and just seeing Ed Zielinski, hello. Yeah, I've got too much going on. Just got something going on. Uh, the show's all right. Well, that's the end of the show. I've said hello to everybody. Does anybody feel like that sometimes? That there's so much of you know, it is when you think about it, we are a small community, but it feels like a big community. But in the scheme of YouTube, we are quite a small community, yeah. But it feels like when you go from show to show each day to get these hellos out, by the time you say hello to everybody, you're ready to go back to bed, aren't you? <laughs> I am. Hello, Natalie Sith Vasquez. I hope you're doing well. Um, hello, hello. <sighs> Going to bed. Um, Ed B. Metal, hello to you. Uh, hello to uh, Amelia. Hey, beautiful. Thanks for popping in. Congrats on the 500 episodes. You are the you are the wind beneath Tom's wings. I should have done that with Echo. You are the wind beneath Tom's wings. Hello, Laurie's Mishmosh. Um, speaking of Laurie's Mishmash, who uh, was I interviewed last week, this week, and we had a fantastic interview last week, this week is Mark Tanner, 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 Tanner. What is he good for? Give him a spanner. There you go. <laughs> Jerry Gomes, hello to you. Uh, oh man, this is already becoming a nightmare. Uh, I think, have I got everybody? I'm trying to make sure I've got you all, yeah? I've got you all. I'm doing Pokemon today. I've got to collect every one of you. Um, I think I'm near the end. I think I've got everyone. Thank you all for the congratulations, man. It's been, it's been a ride. Lady Road Line Straight. Let's talk about this. Lady Road Line Straight. Hey, baby. What's going on with you? Hey. 
before I do that, I'll, I'll uh, say hello to... Uh... Deep gravity! Deep gravity! There we go. Um, let's get back to Lady Red Light Street. Hey, baby, what's going on with you? What's going on with you? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, I got this in the mail yesterday from Lady Road Alone Straight. This is a handmade leather guitar strap. Look at this bitch, man. Look at this. Man, it came in two parts. Had to put it all together myself. I felt like I was, it was a kinder surprise, but made of leather. Look at that. I know what I'll be using that for, not guitar. <laughs> Anyone want to come over and get uh, whipped? Boom. Boom. So uh, look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, all hand design, all made from Lady Rodeline herself. Look at the detail in the uh, thread and everything. It is, can you see that? Look at that. It is absolutely sex on leather. So there you go. I am one of the lucky people to now be a part of the custom uh, strap club. A oh, funny story, actually. This was the second one she made for me. The second one. The first one she posted never arrived last year. And um, fuck knows where that went. It's probably There's probably some weird, creepy guy sitting in a basement wrapping it around his throat right now strangling myself and masturbating in it going oh fuck yeah i'm a star i'm a star that's probably what's going on i don't know why my mind went there but it, it, it did so bear with me uh <laughs> thank you si Evan, for the kind of super chat thank you so much guys you are the wind beneath my wings you know that because without you, and I know it sounds like a throwaway line, and Pete says it uh, so often that it has become a throwaway line. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. Very cool, Pete. Um, no, but you guys, without you, this channel wouldn't exist. Like, uh, I remember doing my first show. Thankfully, it wasn't to nobody. Um, and, well, shall we have a look at it? <laughs> shall we check it? The first show, was it to nobody? Did I actually? Because that's the struggle, isn't it? The struggle is real. Playing, yeah, doing your first show to nobody. It, it's, you know, it'd be a terrible thing. Um, I've got to get the right. Uh, so, did you know there are playlists? I have play lights here, uh, playlists here that have every episode in one playlist. And the first one was how to make an album cover using Over on iOS in 20 minutes. And the irony was, if you've been here from the start... None of my shows went for 20 minutes, even though it was originally in 20 minutes. Everyone went for 45 minutes. It was a bit of a running joke. Let's see just how bad I was on my first show. I was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, you, oops. You do so many All right. I, I never even used to be on camera. I was so camera shy. Can you believe that? Me, <laughs> camera shy. Look at that. Make an album cover in 20 minutes. And how long is the video? 29 minutes. <laughs> what the absolute fuck? Same music. Hello? Is there anyone there? My volume. Good morning. Oh. Good afternoon. How low do I sound? Good, day, Good morning. You are around the world. I'm going to take my own life. This is the first episode of How to App on iOS with me, Jade Star. I hope you can hang around for the next 20 minutes. God, how boring. As we delve into something quite fun, hopefully <laughs> for everybody. Oh, I have some um, technical issue on the first episode. <laughs> I think I've got my. I think I had my um, iPhone running in the background. <laughs> oh yeah. So basically, what we are doing today, as I bring up my main. Uh, hello. Look at this layout. We are going to, in twenty minutes, hopefully, put together. Hopefully, everything I said back then was. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, I, I hope it happens. The app store. I hope so. 
Maybe. And to get everybody into the mood, I've created a song around this <laughs> band. I've just made this song. Oh, my so God. It has no... Right. How many people are in the chat? We're just going to make it up Let's see who the OGs were. Christy. For a my friend Christy. Who I, who I used to live with. <laughs> there you go. The first person in the chat. Cold Acre, my friend. <laughs> we're going to leave that going in the background. So, <laughs> Two people I know in real life. Hello, Vogon. Oh, Vogon. Musician. Now, Trace folks, Gender. Vogon's not a bot. Melbourne, Australia. We and cleared that up. My music on iOS. So that's what this Look at that about. chat. I'm Scott! Where's Scott, man? I haven't, I, I, I haven't heard from Scott for ages. You know what? Really good I'm going to send him a message after this show. People, my vast collection of apps God, this is boring. How can anybody watch this shite? Hello, Mark. Mark Bro. And what we are starting with oh my today God. the first All right, app. let's cut to the chase. Basically... Did anyone turn up? So what we're do for look at that! We want to make it dark. We want to make it. Tom, dark. look, Tom Rochelle, <laughs> Tom Rochelle, Thomas Christ. See, from day one, Thomas Christ. So pretty much, I, what I did with this show too was I made a record cover, um, and pretty much just made a, a pile of. Quick limbs with Donald Trump's head on the front. Apps that you may not even know exist. <laughs> that was my first no episode. Canva to make their album covers. Um, <laughs> I've used it myself, but I, I think it uh, is quite limited. No wonder I lost viewers. Fucking like half my audience were like, "What? You don't I'm like Trump? I'm out of here, bitch!" To this. Damn. <laughs> Move them around. You, you I ostracized my audience on the first episode. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, fuck and that. As you can see, it's, fuck that. What a boring show. Hopefully uh, we've got a bit better. You know what? All right. Let's kick it up a gear because I do have a guest coming on uh, to chat about uh, our time here uh, on this ridiculous show that is uh, still here. Mr. Back from Doing Time. Hello to you. Hello, Guzzo from Oz. Hello. I'm trying to make sure I do catch up with people uh, as they come in. <coughs> all righty i've got a premiere for you guys so um yeah it's unfortunately not my loopy track which will be finishing off tomorrow but i have a premiere for you right now and what else but the show the the video that you've all kind of been here watching over the last few weeks we are going to premiere the new fmc video clip for community colostomy bag you may notice some differences since uh the last show i think the little changes are quite delectable especially the end the dab at the end look for the dab you're gonna love it it's really sexy all right we have a premiere yes we have a premiere let's do it this is the premiere of fmc the community colostomy bag boom
<laughs> what the fuck? What a ridiculous clip. <laughs> you know, I, uh, <laughs> let's 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 discuss this. I blame you guys. It's all your fault. You were the ones encouraging me making that video clip. It's all your fault. Kim Harden Hudson, well, yeah, that is absolutely right. Um, Kim Harden Hudson was all behind the uh, poo falling out of the man's asshole. Um, and Hippie's leg is a new inclusion, absolutely new inclusion. Uh, so definitely a, a few little new bits in there. So, you know, and uh, I can't forget uh, Gary Hubbs came up with the whole ineffective goalkeeper thing with the woman fending away the soccer balls and stuff. <laughs> Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. Um, hello, Bubba. What's going on, Bubba? Hello. Uh, who else have I missed? I saw a few other people that I may have missed. Um, but yeah, look, that clip, it's all your fault. You caused it. It's all, you know what? Kim Harden Hudson. Shall I find it? Fucking hell. Kim, you want to know a little bit about Kim Harden Hudson? <laughs> uh, let's see if I could find this. I, I might not be able to find it. It'd probably be a letdown. Uh, who else did I see? <laughs> see who's in the chat? Who is coming? <laughs> it was a community effort. Kim Harden Hudson. Where are, Where is this email? Oh, man. Um, <laughs> can I find it? Uh, it's got to be called like poo or something. like. It's got to be called poo. Um... Man, I'm not going to be able to find it. Is this it? No, that's not it. Oh, man, I can't find it. But here it is. I found the email. All right, this is from Kim Harden Hudson. Uh, <laughs> right, uh, I cracked up so hard. You'll love this. Oh, I can't find it. And it, look, basically, she sent me... Oh, it was a comment, was it? All right, cool. She, it was a comment on the YouTube channel. So she sent me a comment saying, suggesting that she's like, oh, it's really good because I had the little poo people dancing behind her, right? Behind the old guy. And she actually wrote to me and said, oh, you know what would be even better if you made the poo fall out of the guy's butthole? That would be better. Could you do that? And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the actual fuck? <laughs> Good old innocent, old <laughs> innocent bloody Kim Harden Hudson there. Um, hello, Patrick Chandler. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Um, all right. I just want to dig this up here. This is a bit of a laugh. Check this out. I found this last night. Um, <laughs> I think it's... Uh, so I've done a heap of interviews, yeah? Heaps of interviews. And I found one last night that had a moment in it that was so... It, it's something that we've all become uh, quite used to. Let's do this. Um, let's see if I can find it this way. Ron Ward. Here we go. Check this out. Um, I uh, met a girl in my freshman year college art class from Vietnam. And uh, ended up on a road, you know, in the mil <laughs> military where I, I learned Vietnamese and went to Vietnam. But it all kind of started with that pretty little girl. But, of course, you know, she didn't. I never kept track of her after that. But here I was. And um, in my military career, it led me to, to Vietnam in searching for the POWs and MIAs that had been left here, you know, in the nineties, you know, so I'd been around by that time. And I kept on doing that for a while. And, uh, uh, all the time I was in Vietnam and I started to like Vietnam, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and I started to, you know, have a family in Vietnam. And, and once I realized that I could still do GBU live from Saigon, there was no impediment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of me staying here so here i am <laughs> yeah, awesome awesome so yeah so um Saigon so slick and the boston bar it's a virtual band with you and brian bigler again how did this all come about like uh, you know it's i suppose uh, you know 
you could say maybe five years ago, virtual bands were, were nothing. Nobody was doing this kind of stuff. Um, you, you're kind of ahead of the curve here because you know, there's, there's, there's collaborations, but there, there's not... I don't see too many actual virtual bands that are a thing that stay together. It's more a collaboration kind of thing. So, you know, tell, how did you find each other? I think it's just now on virtual bands, it's just us and the Rolling Stones, man. Everybody else is out of it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, it makes you wonder too. Like you would have seen that clip as well. How the hell did they pull off that, that clip using Zoom? It was amazing, that Oh, thing. well, uh, I think they have the some, pros. you know, more higher paid technicians <laughs> yeah. that are available to people like us. Although you're, so, you're a very great technician. But let me say this. What were you asking me about? <laughs> oh, how Saigon Slick and the Boston Bar got going. Okay, here. There you go. That's all I wanted to play. Ron at his greatest there, forgetting what he was talking about. And I'll tell you what, if you go back and watch that interview with Ron, he forgets what he's talking about in that uh, interview a record 345 times. It's brilliant stuff. It's absolutely you know, right on, right on, <laughs> on the master list. Anyway, you know how many times I'm going to do the master list today just to get back at Ron and his master list. Hey, thank you, Leela, for the kind super chat. Tried to send 500 cents to celebrate your milestone, but iPhone won't let me. Fucking iPhone. Uh, thank you for all you do. Thank you so much for all you do. Um, Man, we've had some crazy interviews on uh, this show. I mean, we've had big celebrities. I mean, we had Iota, who was an actor in uh, uh, Mad Max um, Fury Road. We've had Heinbach, uh, Jordan Rudess, big celebrities, you know, big names. And we've had you guys, the community, the, from the, the, the bedroom guitarist to people who've uh, only released one song. And it's amazing. I feel so lucky every week getting to chat to such a broad variety of people, yeah? It's, um, it's, it's my favorite part of the week. It absolutely is. If I could change anything about this particular show... Hello, uh, Suzanne. Welcome aboard to episode 500. If I could change anything about this show going forward in the future, I would love to make this show, you know, a, an interview show. I would love to interview people for a living it's one of my favorite things. I, I, I've done it professionally um, for newspapers in the past uh, and other media. So it's probably why I, I'm competent at it. <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm good at it. That's, that's a bit too too far. Um, but yeah, I really love doing the interviews. They, they just excite me so much because there's nothing more exciting than getting to know somebody. And when I interview people who come on the show... Uh, it, it's more than an interview. Like the people become my friends and, and I'm in contact with them all the time. And um, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's much more than that. And everybody who comes on, if you haven't been on or you have been on, <laughs> it goes so quick. And if you're watching it, it probably feels like it's dragging on and on and on, but it feels like it's going so quick. And by the time we get to the end, whoever comes on the show normally goes, what is that it? And it's two hours, man. You know, one half to two hours, and it just it flies by when you're doing it because it is so much fun. Thank you so much, Mark Bro, for the kind super chat. Thank you all for the super chats. That's really, really kind of you. Hey, look, um, speaking of monetary stuff and this channel, uh, before I bring on my first guest, um, there we go. There's my little icon up there, which is kind of not sitting right. Um, so I've said this before, I started this show out uh, 500 episodes ago as a reason to get out of bed. Uh, and, and most of you have heard this before because of my health condition. Um, and it still is that, I still have a post-it note sitting up there, taped to the TV, to the corner of the TV, that says, get out of bed. That's why I'm doing the show every day. And it was uh, during uh, the whole uh, inconvenience that we had in 2020, the great inconvenience. And I thought it was an opportunity to, uh, instead of sit in Pete's chat all the time, 
because that's where I was every day sitting in Pete's chat trying to help people putting links there and trying to help people with apps and Pete didn't seem to cover apps yeah Pete's well we all know this so I can say this comf confident uh, confidently about Pete because he's one of my close friends Pete likes to stay in his wheelhouse and he likes GarageBand yeah and we love him for that um, so there was a gap uh, to, to talk about apps for me uh, because I was connected to Pete's show and, you know, the two could work off each other. Um, so luckily I'd, I'd had the experience to sit in Pete's chat and get to know so many people beforehand that by the time I started this channel, kind people from Pete's chat came over and helped me get this going. And one of those people um, I want to ask to come on the show right now. Uh, so hopefully technology is going to work because without this person, the the wheels wouldn't be spinning as well. He's an absolute integral part of this channel. He's an integral part of uh, Pete's channel as well. And it's a real trickle down effect the way it's kind of worked with me being over at Pete's channel and being a moderator there. And you know, for the longest time on Pete's channel, I was moderating by myself. And then along came this other person who started moderating along with me and took the slack away from me, which is really good. Hello, Benedict Stewart. Really good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Thank you, my friend. So I'm going to give this person a call and let's see if they're home. <laughs> Live TV. <laughs> so uh, let's do it, shall we? Let's jump on the blower. And um, I hope they're ready. I'm going to hit call and let's see if this person's ready to come on the show and let's have a chat. Let's do it. Hey, you'll need to put on your video thing. <laughs> Boom! It's Thomas Christ, folks! <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Congratulations, Jade. This is a phenomenal achievement. Hey, thank you so much. Hard to believe. Hey, thanks for coming on. And as I, uh, yeah, no problem. As I was saying before, thank you um, for being one of the first people on this channel, for being here. I think you have probably missed one show <laughs> i don't even know something, if it's one yeah yeah one two three something like that <laughs> definitely less than five. <laughs> oh, definitely uh. definitely <laughs> but no you you are somebody who uh does so much work in the background uh, on this channel like you're always posting links you do so much work over on pete's channel um it, I don't know what I would have done without you in the beginning because the the first two people I first three people I gave moderators to was my friend Cold Acre, who mm -hmm. remember was pocket banning people because he had his phone in his pocket while he was moderating. <laughs> oh my goodness. Back in the day, he was just <laughs> yeah banning everybody because his phone was in his pocket. Pete, who we know how Pete does, Pete just rolls in and says, "Hey, it's Jade Sad," then disappears. But if it wasn't for <laughs> this man here, <laughs> Thomas Christ. Uh, you know, uh, it wouldn't have run as much as well as it has. So, uh, thank you, thank you, you. I you. just, I've, I've just always believed in what you do, and and I've always said there's a lot of places you can go to, uh, to find out about new apps that are uh, coming out for iOS. There's a lot of people doing that now. Back in the day, there was only one or two people. I think when you started was a good time because there still weren't a whole lot of people yet, but. You've always made it entertaining, and, and you do the interviews, and you do the live performances, and you make each show, even if I don't care about the app, even if it's not something that I would ever use, I, I still wouldn't miss a show because you're you're always going to keep it, you know, interesting and entertaining. <laughs> uh, so I, I just thank you for all you do. <laughs> Right, so let's get this out of the way. You're very easily entertained, Thomas. <laughs> yeah, that could be. That absolutely could be. Yeah. I'm always going to shit on myself, you know that. Um, Jerry Gomes has got a question for us. Have you two ever collaborated on a song? Wow, we all know how good I am at collaborating. <laughs> Actually, we are supposed to collaborate on a song know, at some point. I know. So th that'll happen. I gotta get. I gotta get my ass in gear and get you that, some music. <laughs> I know that's been a while too, because like, and and I've been a while on a few other things as well. But let's not talk about that because I'll get depressed, uh, because I'm terrible with that stuff. I'm don't ever. Yeah, it's... yeah, don't ever message me for a collab. I suck, folks. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, well, the ones that you have done, you've done a fantastic job on. That I, you know, you know, of course, uh, this year when when that comes out, that's gonna like when. people's faces are gonna melt. Yeah, I think Kev's face will melt too, in shock. Yeah, Kev. Kev... I just got to do a collab with Kev, and you know, oh. I mean, he he does. <laughs> It's just amazing. I, I can't get over what he does and how quickly he does it, but the quality level that everything that he produces is, it's just insane. Uh, I, I wish I could produce stuff that quickly at that level of quality, you know? Yeah, he's he's incredibly hard to keep up with, um, especially, well, you know, a normal person would probably be able to keep up quite well. Um, for me, I, I just can't. And it's only because my voice is just nowhere near what it was, and I just get... I just get burnt out way too quick, unfortunately. But uh, it's one of the reasons why this loopy thing hasn't gone ahead. Uh, and it won't be going ahead till tomorrow. Because I had to give myself a few days rest to do the vocals yeah. for this loopy thing. Well, you want to do it You want to do it right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, instead of rushing and try to get it done by a deadline, you know, deadlines are, are made to be broken. <laughs> yeah, well, back in, it's interesting, you know, because back in the day, uh, before we all had, like, recording devices in our pockets... Bands no. took six years to release albums. Metallica <laughs> took six years. It took six years for them to re Saint, release Saint Anger. Can you believe that? And that sounded <laughs> like it was recorded in 10 minutes. You know? Well, it's funny you mentioned that because I was just listening to a podcast about that album today where they were going through track by track and reviewing it. <laughs> it, it, does sound like, uh, it does sound like it was recorded in a lot less time than what it actually was. Yeah, well, those drums sound like they're recorded in my butthole. Oh, they're shit. <laughs> they're sh absolute shit. <laughs> I don't know what Laura's been thinking. See you later, Sith. Thank you so much. You enjoy your dinner, Take care, whatever sir. you are eating. Mm. Uh, boom. Uh, all right. So, oops, I've, I've clicked this. Man, these comments, they're not as easy to use as um, as uh, StreamYard. It's, this, it's... I'm just impressed that you got them working in OBS. Well, I'm using this app called... Twi tw what's it called twidget and it's not it's not that good so i have to select all right now we got rid of it thank you adam burst hello adam burst um all right so i want to talk about uh how you came into like because uh, this trickle down effect it is a real thing mm -hmm. um so, absolutely so, yeah i was in pete's channel uh moderating over there um, welcome along, Brad. Brad, you're always late to the party. Goodness me. Yes, let's have a vape, uh, Thomas. Hey, Brad. Oh, yeah. Vape break. Bang. Um, <laughs> so I started moderating over at Pete's channel, and I just messaged Pete one day and said, hey, it looks like you know you, you probably need a moderator. So I'll be happy to do it. I think he flicked a few other moderator things out, I think, um, uh, Sion. I don't know if Sion was after you. I can't remember. But anyway, uh, we got you a moderator on the show. Mm -hmm. And it took so much stress off me because I was... And you know what it's like. You're continuously yeah. trying to pull links up to provide everybody things to click on to get to that Pete's talking about and to give Pete a chance to just keep the show going because, you know, not all of us are good multitaskers. And um yeah, and you came along, and we call you over on Clubhouse behind your back, or maybe not behind your back, but yeah, I think you know what we call you. <laughs> we call you the Silent Assassin. Yeah, I I don't know where I, where that name came from, but it's because like you watch things, you watch tutorials, and you watch things that go on, and then I swear to God, within the next episode of your show, whatever you're doing. You apply them. You're like the you are the silent assassin. You're just in the background like a ninja, <laughs> picking up the skills and just you're like Joe and Barry Glenn. And Joe's like that as well too. She's the silent and uh, oh yeah female version of it. So so yeah, you you came along and became a moderator in Pete's thing, and you actually gave me mm -hmm. time to not have to focus so much on the uh, on Pete's show, which I still watch every every day when it's on, but I don't have to focus on the uh, the um, the moderator stuff so much. The question I want yeah. to ask you is, how do you post those mm -hmm. links so fucking fast? <laughs> I well, I have predictive text or, or text replacement. That's that's the that's the big secret. But sometimes, you know, the thing is, like people don't realize I'm doing all this on my phone. Yeah. So 
It's like sometimes I'm, you know, now what's nice is most of the time I'm watching downstairs and I have the show up on Chromecast. So what that lets me do is I can actually like close the YouTube app and go other places. If if I happen to just be on my phone, then I have to actually like shut the, you know, because it shuts off if you go away from the YouTube app. So um, I don't have premium or anything. So uh, but uh, I don't know. I just uh, just kind of. uh do the best I can to try to get the links as quickly as possible. But I have some things pre-programmed and some things I just have to like type real fast. And I've just gotten, I guess, kind of good at it after doing it for so long. Yeah. I do it on the phone too. And I, I, I don't use text prediction. Yeah. You, you picked up on text prediction where I just used to have all the notes in a notepad and would just double click and flick between them and just copy paste and do that. But yeah, every time me and Tom is putting links in, it's always on the phone. <laughs> Um, and for those yeah. of you who don't know, we can show you how to do this because text prediction, a lot of people don't really know about it. So I think you go to uh, settings on your iOS device, general, keyboard, yep. and then it's uh, text replacement. So it's up here, text replacement. And what you can do is you can go in and you can set words to uh, go to uh, certain things. So you can see here I have duck and duck and which is replaced if i type duck it's replaced with fuck because you all know the old famous duck fuck thing that you type in and if i type ducking it turns into fucking so you can do things like that i have like things like hta will put my web link into the um thing i have things like i1 for ipad i have all my email addresses so j1 all that kind of stuff um yeah, you can you can pretty much uh, text replace anything. It's it's super cool, if you have autofills that uh, annoy the piss out of you, yeah. And I'm sure lots yeah. of you have that. Uh, I have an idea. Says I've never seen that area before. See, lots of people don't know about it. It's really good. The old duck thing is the thing. It's the first thing I did when I found it. Was like, oh man, I'm so <laughs> sick of writing fucking and it comes out as ducking. What is but then if you want to type, then if you want to type, you want to, you know, duck the audio or something, <laughs> you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, yeah. That's, there are a few, there's some disadvantages. And see, like GB, I've got GarageBand. It's all those things that you type all the time. You know, it's it's really handy yeah. for that. And, you know, what's a really good thing? You could go in and you could type like, uh, hello, Joe. Hello, Cy. Hello. Uh, you could do all your hellos <laughs> and put them to a text replacement. So you don't just have to do H1, H2, H3, H4, and then you don't have to type out all the hellos. There's an idea for you all. I, I need to try that one. Yeah, it's, it's, you're probably going probably gonna to run out of uh, H's because there's so many people in this community. And Joe, I saw Joe write, what, before? I was saying, Joe, you are a silent assassin. You're one of those people who, whenever I do a show on uh, LumaFusion or something, the very next video you release, you've already got all those things happening. You are a silent assassin. Uh, Pete Johns is here, and Pete Johns says, I love, Hello, Pete Johns. I love text replacement. I have entire paragraphs that help me answer common questions. And you know what I say to that, Pete? I say, very cool. I think it was Pete that taught me about that, actually. Yeah. Because he was talking about it one time, like, on a Patreon stream or something, and I was like, wait a second, you can just replace, you know, like, type in just a couple of letters and get, like, a whole string of text? That's amazing. It's absolutely perfect for um, for email addresses. That's where I use it the absolute most. When, you know, you've got to quickly type in a, a email address into a form or anything like that. Oh, my God. Because, yeah, it, they're the pains in the asses. Definitely. Yeah. Well, like, the, what I, what the main thing that I use it for is, like, if you watch YML and you notice that I post the things about DistroKid and all that stuff... Yeah. Yeah, I'm not type. I'm not typing that every single time. <laughs> if you thought I was, you're, you're, you're awakening. Secrets <laughs> revealed. Secrets revealed. Yes, we are revealing all the secrets today. So, um, once you came over here and became a moderator over mm -hmm. here, um, you know, as I said, it, 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 I, I think uh, a couple of my moderators I don't have anymore, but the mods here are, are really cool. I mean. In fact, they're, yeah. they're very cool. Um, the, the beautiful thing about having good mods on a channel, it's really important, I think, um, is that you don't need to tell them anything. They just understand yeah. 
what you need to do. And, and and there's never an exp- I don't expect you guys to do anything like we don't have meetings or anything like that so if anybody thinks that we sit around and be like oh, we've got to catch up and have a meeting and talk about uh, those links you posted Thomas <laughs> I'm a bit di- <laughs> a bit disappointed Thomas um, but having good mods is really important because it, to know that you can trust people that they've always got you back it, it, it makes my job doing this and I say job because I never thought it would be a job but it, it is becoming that which is awesome um, and the amazing thing is uh, I said before you came on this trickle down effect yeah so I went over to Pete's channel I, I did my time over at Pete's t- and, and he he only fed me bread and water folks it was disgusting <laughs> uh, but I did my time. Oh, that's yeah. Pete. He's a slave. Ma- he's a slave master, Pete. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, behind the scenes, Pete, you should hear him. He's he's always saying stuff like it's full of fucking swearing and all this stuff. It's terrible. I don't have the file here. I can't play it. So you're lucky, Pete. Um, no, but uh, so I think it was really advantageous of me to be able to sit over at Pete's channel, build up uh, who I am over there. Help as many people as I can yeah. to get this off the ground. And the same has happened to you because I want to talk about your channel and I want to focus on you now because, hey, thank you, Black Covers, very much for being here and the congratulations. Um, folks, I don't think, uh, well, uh, maybe you do realize, but Thomas Christ busts his ass every week. Uh, now, you work, do you work two jobs at the moment or is it only one? Yeah. Yes. So yeah. during the pandemic, uh, we all had time on our hands. And so, you know, you, you were able to kick off things on your channel, which we'll talk about. But when, as things, uh, you know, went back to normal and the inconvenience, which is still inconvenient, unfortunately, uh, started to relax a bit, you had to go back to work. And um, you're still busting your ass doing this stuff. H- how hard has it been going back to work uh, and maintaining your channel, which you have really put a lot of work into. Well, it's been it's been really tough, actually. Um, I and and I'm working more now than I was before because, like, I actually have like kind of a nine to five job now. It is nice because I'm working from home and I have the flexibility to, um, you know, like today uh, I got off an, a half hour early. And then tomorrow I'll make up that time and I'm able to do that, which, which is really nice. And I realize not everybody has that freedom. So, you know, um, I, I do appreciate that, but, um, to try to set, you know, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Like, I think people think that like when you do a live show, you just like come in and like, all right, I think I'm going to go live today and you just click a button, but there's all this shit that you have to do yeah. in between shows and before the show that people don't realize like all these graphics and stuff you have to sit there and make all that um if you want to like for you know i one of my shows i do is you rock so that's where people send in songs and um you know i play them so it's not just that, like i'm gonna play these songs uh like i make up a, an entire text document while your show is on usually on wednesday um i'm sitting there copying and pasting copying and pasting um, you know, artist names and song names and the links and putting them all into this giant text document and then reordering them in the order that I'm going to play them. And then I have to go in and I put in like all those, I mean, like when you see this, the, the song title scroll across the screen. So I have to take the song title and artist title, copy those over into stream or in the stream yard so that I can just click on those and they'll be there. Um, uh, and there, there have been times where like, I've been actually like, while the song's playing, I'm sitting there like, okay, I got to get some more song titles in there. So I have them ready to go. Um, so there's a lot of work. And then like the, the, you know, Thomas Christ live where I perform live every Friday. Um, that takes sometimes even more work because you're trying to figure out like, what songs am I going to play? Um, what am I going to do that's interesting with them this week? I got to get stuff set up on the iPad so I can play the backing tracks. I got to get the lyrics up. I got to get the song titles into OBS there's just a lot of stuff and it, it's not complaining about it because I enjoy doing it. I wouldn't do it if I didn't enjoy it, but there is a lot of work involved. And, um, it, you know, I, I used to have a lot more time to do that stuff. And now I kind of have to like hurry up and do it in a shorter period of time. So it's just, uh, it's just kind of about like utilizing time efficiently. That's, that's really all it is. 
I'm sure you can appreciate. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, uh, and definitely I never complain about it either because this is, this is what I love to do. This, it, it, it makes yeah. me happy to do this every day. I love to talk about apps. I love to play music. I love all this stuff. I love helping other people. That's something which I never used to want to do a long time ago. I was a different, <laughs> very different person. And now that's what I'm focused on before anything else. Um, and like, I, I know the struggle of when you're doing all this work and you're getting a little uh, back from it monetarily, that's a really hard thing too. So, um, yeah, well, because YouTube makes it so that you have to reach these really lofty goals. Like I'm basically I'm working for Google and not being compensated for it. So that's the thing that I always think about. Like eventually, if enough people click a button, um, maybe I'll start making some money from this from doing that, which would be great. But for right now, like the only thing I have is some people are, are very generous and I'm so thankful when anytime anybody donates some money. Um, but that's like the only thing that I get from it. A lot of times, like, I, you know, it's really like taking a loss and that just comes back to, I do it cause I enjoy it, but it would be nice to like also make a little bit of money from it, not relying on people to, to be generous, but you know, actually like, you know, being part of the partner program, but takes a little takes a little doing to get to that point as you know <laughs> totally and i'm i'm pointing it out today because i want to i want to give you props like uh, sh sure i've made uh, 500 episodes here because you work really tirelessly you work tirelessly on my channel you work tirelessly on pete's channel and you provide entertainment every weekend for people and it's really awesome seeing numbers grow and stuff like that on your channel but i mean you're working like a dog for it man those those yeah. live performances are, they kill they they knock you out and you know your health is uh not not something that's amazing either i think the the one thing which has uh, really opened my eyes within this small community that feels larger than what it is from doing these warts episodes there's a lot of us who have shit going on man and um, it's important to, to talk about this stuff and to bring it to, to the light because we're, we're all shitting and bleeding like each other. And a lot of us have shit going on, be it like depression, be it anxiety, be it stress at work, be it uh, illness. We've all got it, yeah? And, and uh, I think through these shows, hopefully, there is a sense of community that we can actually build each other up and, and, and help get through those things. But uh, sometimes... The people who are doing this stuff, like yourself, who checks in on you? So that's one yeah. of the reasons I'm getting you on the show today to let you know that I love you. I think what you do is fantastic. And I think I want to remind people too, if you are watching Thomas and you do have, I mean, Thomas doesn't have the availability of things like Super Chats. And, and I'm very blessed that you guys uh, help me out with Super Chats and all that stuff. Tom's got a PayPal link, flick him some money, help him out because it's just that, and it only has to be a few dollars or something like that. And I'm just putting it out there because, but, and, and that, I, like, I don't want it to seem like I'm like, no, you know, no, um, this is because I, I do, I do work. So I do make money. Course. Like, so I'm not, I'm not totally like destitute, but things are, think, you know, things are tight. Of course. For, and it is for a lot of people, especially after this pandemic and everything in during this pandemic, that's still going on. Uh, even though some people like to deny that it is, um, yeah, you know, it's, uh, I it's just, I just appreciate every little thing that, that people do. And I also, I, I look to people like Jade, like, first of all, I know that Jade, um, she is never, she's never satisfied. She's never just resting on like, the, the show is okay. It's fine. Cause I look at it and I think, man, this is a great show. This is fantastic. It's growing. And, and, but she's always thinking about like, what can I improve? What can I do different? How can I, how can I do it better? And it's just like uh, a constant thing. Uh, and, and I see that, you know, also with Pete too, like it, it, the, the, the dedication and the amount of effort that goes into that, um, really, really blows my mind. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, uh just amazing. And, you know, you, you didn't know I was going to say any of that, too. So I kind of blindsided you with that kind of stuff, what I was saying. But yeah. <laughs> it is, it, <laughs> but I it is what it. it is. You know, you work hard. And it just uh, – it is it's nice to be appreciated. That's the thing. And, and you know, that's that's important. Hello, Russ. Look who's here. Russ has joined hey, us, Hey, it's folks. Russ. Um, and I've clicked the wrong thing. Oh, man. This, this thing. Here we go. There it is. 
Russ is probably very anxious to get away from where he's at right now. Uh, Cause I didn't realize this, but like I looked at, there's a list of like all the cities in the Eastern United States and how much snow they've gotten and where he's at right now in Buffalo. That's number two. Right. Most snow. Yeah. So he's probably like, get me, get me out of yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> and, and he's done it tough, man, since he's been. Not only is he over there yeah. to see his wife, who's going through, you know, cancer treatment at the moment. They both got COVID, and he, and yeah. while he was walking his dog, his dog pulled him over in the snow, and uh, he fell over in the snow and yeah. broke his hand. And you know, it's a terrible thing that. <laughs> Terrible thing that Russ broke his head. I shouldn't be laughing, but uh, uh, it's so funny. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, Thomas. He'll be pissing himself laughing. <laughs> you know we're like on Clubhouse. We're a bunch of assholes to each other. Oh yeah. Uh, nothing's changed. You haven't been around for all. Nothing's changed. Um, I can I can even hear uh, audible sighing right now. Uh, but uh, Russ is actually getting ready to pack. Yeah, he's going back home right now. So he's yeah. leaving. Safe travel. Safe travels, Russ. He's leaving tomorrow, uh, I think. Yeah. Um, I know. <laughs> Leela, it's terrible. It's so terrible. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Russ broke his hand. Because <laughs> uh, you should have seen how much. You should have seen how much he laughed when I broke my tooth. God, <laughs> he's a prick. <laughs> but anyway, that's Russ. Um, all right. Uh, so tell us about what you do over on your channel. For those who ha may not have been over on your channel, what do you do over on the Thomas Christ channel? Well, primarily it's focused on uh, on two shows. And uh, I mentioned them uh, briefly uh, earlier. But so the first show is You Rock, which is uh, I stole from a guy uh, in one of my favorite bands, which is uh, which is Angel Spit, and if you haven't ever heard of Angel Spit, you should really check them out because uh, it's pretty cool. It's actually just really one guy. I think there's some other people that help out, but um, he used to, he always says uh, "You rock, you rock." Um, he's originally from Sydney, by the way. Um, but anyway, so I thought this would be cool uh, to do a show where I play people's music, but I kind of like. I want to make sure that the artist's music, because like as a musician myself, I understand what people are kind of looking for in terms of getting their music out there. And I know they want to have like options. So I give people the option, like do, you know, one of the big debates is like, do you play the whole song or do you play part of the song? So I give people the option. They can check whichever box they want on the form, bit.ly forward slash you rock submit is how you can get your song on the show and uh i just you know I've, I've also made a personal commitment to play just about every song that gets sent in so i'm i'm gonna be there and i'm going to make sure that every song that gets sent in is heard uh if you know so the show's gotten a bit longer than it used to be originally it was about two hours <laughs> now it's anywhere three to four Ooh. hours which i think is is <laughs> it's still it's still reasonable okay, hippie. um <laughs> <laughs> not quite not quite but um but anyway so yeah it, it's just and, and my priority with this show is that i want you to know that your music is valuable we, people care about your music people want to hear it and um i i can talk about and and show what is good about what you do and everybody does something unique and everybody does something different and there's something positive to find in, in everybody's music, no matter where you're at in your stage, you know, some people are, they're ready to hit the big stage. You know what I mean? And then there's other people who are just starting out. Like they're just starting to play around in things like garage band or, or whatever DAW they, they choose to use. And there's value in all of that. And, and I try to find that. So, so that's what it's all about. And just building people up and providing a positive environment where your music can be heard in in the format that you want to present it in and uh you know of course i promote if people uh, have albums coming out or anything like that i talk about that and uh, get that out there as, as best i can so um I, I think it's uh i think it's a good thing i think it's a really good thing but you um, also do another show too every weekend so you support other and then i do music, <laughs> but you do your amazing live shows which have become so that's where i play i play i play your music on you rock and then uh, on Friday, I have uh, Thomas Christ Live where I play my music, and it's uh, admittedly a very self-indulgent sort of a show, but um, 
I, I just present my music in, in the way that I want to present it. And it's been very cool because, like, I've played live shows. And actually this week uh, in, in both shows I'm going to be um, talking about the first time that I played live, which uh, is the, – the anniversary of that is February 2nd. Um, it was in 2002, so it's it's 20 years. So I think on You Rock at the end of the show I'm going to play um, – maybe some were all of that show so you can see what what that was like the very first time that I performed live and I've had gotten the opportunity to perform live uh a few times you know maybe six or seven I had a guitar player um somebody that I knew from grade in high school that played with me um but I really appreciated being able to do this uh on my show because I can do it the way I want to do it. I can have the mix exactly the way I want it. I can go for as long or as short as I want to go. And um, I, I can do different types of sets each week and talk about different types of songs that I do. Because I have a catalog. Like, it's it's crazy to think. But, like, I, I've i done over somewhere like three to 400 songs. So there's, there's plenty of material. Um, so it, it is my self-indulgent thing. And it's just, like a way for me to get out some, um, you know, a cathartic thing for me to, <laughs> to perform some of this stuff sometimes. And it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And, uh, I think we have, we have a really cool group that that's been coming along for that too. And, um, I'm, I'm kind of impressed that anybody wants to watch it, but, um, I, I hear people say it's pretty good. I don't know. It is. It's very good. <laughs> but uh, why, don't, why don't you come and check it out and you be the judge? Absolutely. <laughs> and I see Audible getting smart in the comments uh, like he always does. Somebody put him in timeout. Uh, all of a sudden, it's become a Thomas Christ interview, which now, <laughs> which now that I think about it, <laughs> isn't bad. And that's exactly what I intended to do. I didn't want to sit here today and toot my horn and go through all the shows. I've done that in other episodes, other milestones. You know, I want to. I did like that you played your first episode, though. That was cool. I, I like to see that because I. It's, it's funny. It's, it, and it really does seem like <laughs> it does seem like yesterday. It does, um, man. It's gone so quick. Although it hasn't, because there's been times, and we'll, we'll finish on this. There's been times with this show. My mental health has struggled, and there's been times where I took a week yeah. off. I was in hospital, and I know you too. Uh, you struggle with this stuff with mental health. About you, you need to. You need to turn on the lights and get up here and be, as you need to be Ron Ready on the master list. You need to do all that stuff and you can't always do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so sometimes you sound a bit yeah. flat. And sometimes if you go through some of my shows, and I, I know there's been some live shows of yours too where you've been flat and you're just like, fuck, I really can't feel it today. But the show has to go on. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a thing. And um, how do you how have you dealt with, you know, doing a doing a, a show each week or two shows each week, and co dealing with uh, that kind of thing with mental health and and being Ron ready. Yeah, you know it's it's just like you said the show the show must go on and um, you know there's all kinds of things that go on in in life that you have no control over but um, you just have to. Remember why you do these things and remember that it's not it's not for me. It's for these other people that are watching. And um, I, I think I, I look to you, too, because I know, like, the stuff that you deal with is nothing compared to what I deal. You know what I mean? It's like what I deal with is nothing compared to what you deal with. And if you're able to get up and do a show and like, I've you know, I've seen like just the other week when you were on Patreon and and. You know, you were having the issues with the bleeding and stuff and, and like – and then you come out and you did a great show <laughs> like an hour oh, later. Yeah. All right, thanks. <laughs> well. and, uh, and and you do that all the time and it's like – like if you can do it, if you can do it and, and um, you know, then, then then anybody can do it. Like it's the, – the, there's no excuse, you know. You can't let it get you down. You got you to gotta just get back up and keep fighting. Right. Yeah, and usually the shows, the shows where you preempt it and say like, "Oh, I mean, my voice might not be very good today," and <laughs> yada yada, I'm not feeling that great today. And then you like, just are like, bang on. <laughs> it's like, it's weird, you know. It's, I've said this in other shows. Sometimes you do gigs and you sound like shit, and all your friends come and go, "That was the best gig you ever did," and then you do shows where your voice is on fire, and everyone goes, "Yeah, yeah it was all right." You think, "Fuck, what 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 are you hearing out there?" Like. <laughs> Like, I'm hearing something terrible. 
All right. I'm going to let you go and because um, I do have another guest okay. coming on and I've got something special I want to play uh, while I get some stuff ready. Uh, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, thank Thomas you. Christ, for everything you have done for my channel, everything you've done for Pete's channel. And thank you for all it of the music you've uh, provided and entertainment for myself because uh, I, I'm, I'm so happy to call you a friend and so thankful for everything that you've done. Ladies and gentlemen, As I'm amazing. Right. Thomas Christ. Let's go for a thousand. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> we got to get to two thousand subs yet. <laughs> I want to be back on for the thousand. Uh, Absolutely, episode. ladies and gentlemen, subbing up, folks. The amazing Thomas Christ. Boom. See you later, Tom. Bye. Adios. Let me see if I can end the call. Doof. Done. And there he is, frozen in eternity, like like Han Solo. Look at that. Forever, trapped for eternity. All right, we can go back here now. And I have something special for you, folks. I'm going to play you. Instead of playing one of my tracks today, this is something that's been requested. There's a lovely person who uh, is an, a moderator over at uh, uh, Pete Johns' channel by the name of Sion. And he did a cover of one of my songs called Do What Makes You Happy. And I'm going to play it for you right now. So uh, enjoy. We'll be back soon. <laughs> oh, crap, I wasn't expecting to make a video today, but I guess I needed to. Um, I guess, so heads up, this is not another love song, because I know I've been singing a lot of like, songs about somebody that was dead to my life. This isn't one of those types of videos, but this is still a song that really spoke to me. And yeah, I've heard this song a few times, and this is the first time I'm actually covering a song that I've just heard. Like, I haven't even looked up the full lyrics. I'm just going to run with it because I feel like I want to make this song now and I don't really have too much time in general. So I want to make sure I make the most of it. I'm just going to look up the lyrics. So if you see me using my glasses, pro tip, when I use my glasses, it's because you can't see me reading the lyrics. So right now as I'm looking down, you just don't know. Unless you look really, really close to my eyes, you don't know that I'm actually reading the lyrics down here on my table. So let's go. Do a... I need the lyrics, I need the lyrics, because I don't know the lyrics. I really don't know the lyrics. Ah, oh, crap, come on. It's weird, like, come on, you should, you should probably just put the, yeah, great, you did. I'm glad at least you, you were able to put the lyrics on yet, because I need to do the songs justice. All right, I guess you know from the beginning the name of the song. It's Do What Makes You Happy by Jade Star. Let's go. This is not another love song. It is about being true to yourself. It's all you can rely on and friends. I love you for being your true self Yeah, sure what you think of me But we are connecting right now So I don't know the lyrics to them Yeah, your selfishness is all that you need And then you can be true to yourself Words and music, your life you choose it. Songs and laughter, or shit ever after. You can choose it, or you can lose it. But remember, don't ever abuse it. Just do what makes you happy. This is not another fairy tale. It is about seeing through someone else. As I've seen a million places and I face adversity and prejudice just for being themselves. Is it worth the answer to it? Someone for being different. Cause everybody's made of flesh, bone, skin, and blood. We eat, breathe, and love. Yeah, we eat, breathe, and love. Yeah, 
we hit with in love. Oh, 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 oh. This is not another fairy tale. It is about saying true to someone else. As I've seen a million places and I've faced adversity and prejudice just for being themselves. Is it worth the hassle to hate? Someone for being different. Cause everybody's made of flesh, bone, skin, and blood. We eat, breathe, and love. And on words and music, your life you choose it. And songs and laughter, oh. Yeah, shit ever after. You choose it, or you can choose to lose it. But remember, don't ever abuse it. Just do what makes you happy. Ah, 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 yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Just do what makes you happy. So many people are afraid to be themselves. Afraid of what people may think it isn't right to say to people that you're worried about. I don't worry about themselves. They're not thinking about you. So why do so many people lash out in public at a person for being 100% themselves? You can't believe in yourself. You can't believe in yourself 100% without being an asshole. Seriously, asshole. there were people who were many unhappy, asshole. many a year in their life. And when shows flowing on the roller coaster suicide that they truly hated themselves. Because they always feared the worst. Like no one would ever love them for being themselves. I'm telling you, free thinking is punished in this life. And honestly, it's something that is very hard to believe. Like the anger that's building inside of me when all people just wanted to do. Damn, it was to cry. When everything was going bad, they wanted to cry. Let it out, don't be so sad. Like they wanted to cry. They don't want to let the drama make them mad. They want to try to cry. Just cry, just cry. Damn it. When really, they just need to do what makes them happy. This is not another love song. It is about being different and being true. Just be true to yourself, yeah, yeah. Just do what makes you happy. Don't care about all the worries in your life. I don't give a damn what happens to me. I will try and do what makes me happy? This one goes out to you, Jade Star. Seriously, do what makes you happy. See on the producer out. Whoosh. Whoosh. Thank you, Sion, for that. Thank you so much. Round of applause for Sion. I always feel, <laughs> I always feel almost pity for somebody who tries to take on one of my songs because i do intentionally try to write them extremely hard so nobody can cover them it is just what it is whoosh to you see on uh ladies and gentlemen i'm going to bring on another guest and hopefully this shit's going to work let's give him a call shall we i hope he's ready i think he's ready uh let's give him a call bring him on i'm sure that made your day russ I, that was for you absolutely for you I love you know i love you russ so there you go uh, all right you prick um Let's give uh, this guest a call. Let's bring him on and see how he goes. Uh, I'll give him a call. We'll hit the little call button. Oh, it's ringing. Um, he's got to click his video camera, I think. Oh, there he is. Hang on. Let's see if I can bring him in. Is it going to work? Uh, just give me a second. I just need to reset here. So keep going. Keep quiet. Oh, no, he's ruined it. He's giving it away who he is. Oh, no, it's that guy. It's that, it's that weird guy from the internet. Boom. Um, yeah. There he is. Sub up, sub up, sub up, Jade. Oh, 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 I was trying to be the middle head. Did my voice did, not come did, across did, right? Did come across right? Guy. <laughs> What's, hello. What's hello. going down? Hello. What's going down? I've got you like stuttering a little bit. I don't know why that is. Mm, I'm, I, I'm trying this OBS thing for the first mm, time. So I'm trying this OBS yeah, thing for the first time, so it's probably yeah, not working. I can I can switch camera. and that's just go back to the regular yeah, camera if that's going to be very choppy, aren't I? Yeah, very choppy. It's slowing down everything here for some reason. 
Turn it all off. Let me do this. I'll close a few things as well. I've only got my email open. Uh, there's an echo. Ah, now the echo's gone. There we go. Uh, that should be oh, fixed. Okay. Um, cool. I'm I'm hearing things fine, but yeah, I'm just looking like I'm uh, I'm doing do like a, a robot dance back or... on my end at least. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, let's try it again. I'll uh, I'll just swap. Just give me two minutes. I'll swap back to the regular camera because don't know that uh, my Skype right. likes my OBS. So uh, we'll that. give All it a right, crack the other way. way. All right. Try it soon. Bye. There we go. All right. Look, everything went back to normal after that. So, I'm going to give that one star on uh, Skype. There we go. Send one star for quality. Oh, do I have to type shit? Um, I, uh, we kept interrupting each other. <laughs> That's a good excuse. What, what weirdness. Uh, is that a free plug-in? <laughs> oh, goodness me. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see if I can bring him back. He's gonna me he'll message me as soon as he's got it set up. So, um, I'm only going to have Pete on for a little period of time here, just to, to hang out. I'll just close these down for now. I think he's good. Let me just see. I think he's good. Take two. All right, let's try. Let's try bringing him back in, and we'll see how it goes. Um, boom, 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 boom. Well, see, now there's no surprise at all. Oh, yeah, I'm still kind of doing the shaky shimmy thing, but yeah. Uh, oh, we'll just we'll, we'll just have to put up. How's it all going? Oh, you've, you've kind of sped up now. Yeah, I'm good. How are you? We'll just deal with it. Yeah, well, we'll just deal. It's fine. It's good. Um, yeah, happy. Um, hang on, happy 500th birthday. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Um, hey, you know what? It wouldn't be a thing if it wasn't for you, because um, Ooh. you know, I came across your channel. Uh, but I can't even remember. It feels like ages now, like three years ago, maybe something like that. Mm. And you were making, well, you were making your album. You were making yes. your album. That's when I found you. I was looking for some kind of help on some kind of iOS related shit. And um, <laughs> I, I found you and you were making an album. And I watched that whole thing being made and was like, oh my God, I feel like I know this guy inside and out just through his... Um, his music and his story that he's talking through. It's, uh, and then I bought your album. And then I left you this weird review, like I was on drugs or something. Um, I think I was. Uh, <laughs> and then I became a moderator on your channel. And um, and yeah, it was you who kind of encouraged me to do this. So thank you so very much. No, thank you because um, I think my exact words in the past have been and continue to be thank you for doing this so that i don't have to because uh, apps are not my favorite thing and especially having to get like people don't realize behind the scenes how much work it was but i know thomas just said something similar that when you do a live show or when you do any video or when you're doing anything especially when it's to do with apps and learning something new you've got to like it looks like you're just like oh and then you do this and so then you click this and then you do this. The amount of time you have to spend behind the scenes working out so you don't look like a gush darn fool every time uh, is actually quite substantial. So the, the effort that it goes into doing an app review, I mean, look, sometimes you can wing it. Sometimes you just download it and install it and play with it and have fun. But um, yeah, more often than not, you need to spend significant time beforehand learning it. So um, Jay doing this show, because the, the history of it was that Jay would, would tell people, like on the GarageBand users group and on Create, Record, Release Facebook group, people would be like, how do I do this with my iPhone? How do I use short? shortcuts to send this file to here and she and jade will be like oh you go here and you do this and you do this and she'd do these long-winded explanations in text on on facebook and i'd be like dude you just need to do a daily show where you just explain this shit and then people have a resource where they can go and look so now when people say oh i want to create i don't know how to use this over app or go daddy studio that's now oh, jade's got videos on that i don't know how to use whatever whatever ios plugin uh, that, that's out there i'm like yeah jade's got a video on that she got, you have to get through 10 minutes of her saying hello to everyone, but just, just skip forward 10 minutes of the video yeah, and then she'll show you how to use the app and you'll be fine. So, yeah, no, it's been it's been good and I know a lot of people have valued the advice that you give them and uh, and the, the fact that you don't have to collect them all because apps are not like Pokemon monsters. We know that. It's a weird thing to say on a, a show reviewing apps, isn't it? Telling people <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't buy, them. buy them. I mean, you do the same thing too, <laughs> talking about gear, you know. Yeah. You, it's, yeah. It's, um, it's important to let people know that they... There shouldn't be a pressure to buy things just because I'm telling you that they're good. Like it's, you know, it's good. I'm doing it because I think it's good and it might help me, but there are some apps that I do that I think will help other people. 
And yeah, I certainly would not own all of the apps that I have. There's no way because I, I, no. I don't need them. I only use a very no. small percentage of apps to make the music that I rarely make. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. No, and, it, and it's, it's weird because um, I often think about this as well, that there were people doing the sort of thing that you're doing in the past and there used to be a thing that was the uh, Apple App Store affiliate program. So what used to happen is if Jay was doing her job that she's doing right now four years ago when this existed, every time she recommended an app and someone followed the link she puts in the description and goes and downloads that app, guess what? A little bit of coin, a little bit of a little bit of action there. And what happened over time is that used to be 6%, it dropped down to 3%, went to like 1.5% half percent and then they just stopped it so they just stopped paying and i actually personally as much as i know that that impacted some creators at the time that were legitimate and that were only recommending apps that people should actually be downloading and using there was this subculture that was just evil and gross of people that would just review and say every app is just the best thing since sliced bread just so that people would click the link and download the app and even if the app was a big pile of hot steaming dog turds then they would feel bad but people were selling out their reputation to make you know six cents on a 99 cent app which was a bit stupid and i think the one thing that you've done and i know that even if this did exist today you value your reputation and you value this community a lot more than you're going to value six cents because someone downloads an app so yeah i think i think you've come in at the right time um and it has it has filtered out a lot of that stuff so we now have the actual review because why would you review an app and say it's good and people download it when there's no benefit to do that apart from your reputation. Yeah, totally. Uh, I mean, you talk about it too all the time, about uh, gear that you get sent and you don't review it because it's not up to Mm. scratch. There's a lot of apps I don't review. For all the ones that you go back and say, oh, wow, there's 450 episodes of app (laughs) tutorials. Yeah, there's probably another, you know, 100 to 200 apps I haven't done because... The, what what's the point if I don't think they're beneficial or they're way too expensive or they've bug ridden or they're, you know, they're, yeah. there's been a few of them which we've discussed on my Patreon and talked about that kind of stuff. I was going to say, uh, if, if folks want to hear, uh, want to see the cutting room floor, <laughs> they definitely should go and join Jade's Patreon because that's where you see the ones that don't make the cut. And if you think some of the actual shows, you're like, geez, this app's a bit rough and there's been a few errors and a few problems like trying to get this one working. Yeah, wait till you see the behind the scenes stuff of what uh, some of the things that we've tried. What, one that I sent your way that we, we won't mention the name because the developers are nice people, but my goodness, was that a dog of an app that just did not work at all. And uh, I'm like, Jade, they, the they wanted me to try this for free. Yeah, it was the guitar one. I'm actually well, going to do it soon. They've fixed it up. Oh, really? They improved They've it? fixed it oh, up. They fixed it. Well, see, there you go. Because I know you did actually go to the effort and give them feedback mm-hmm. and tried to help them make it better. Uh, because at the time, they were just they were just trying to make another guitar amp simulator. But basically, it was like every other guitar amp simulator, but really hard to use. So it really didn't work for it. But yeah, if they're, if they're improving it, again, based on your feedback. And, and it goes to show, like you showed your first show earlier and i did that because i i did a five-year on youtube show yesterday that i was watching today just to get ready for my six-year on youtube show today and looking at sort of my first videos and that's the thing like the same with developers the same with doing anything same with your music you're going to suck when you start and i think the people like i've been talking a lot these days that resilience is not how you keep going it's how you bounce back so i think being able to bounce back from a bad show or a bad song or a bad app or a bad whatever and continue on because the one thing I'm, I've been saying a lot lately is that people produce their first song. Once they get to their 10th song, very rarely do they say, man, I'm getting worse. Man, my 10th song is so much worse than my first song. No, you improve, you learn, you grow. And you said it before with um, the likes of Joe Glenn and the likes of Thomas Christ. These folks, you can see that they're sponges. They absorb the information and they work out what's right for me and what's not right for me. And then they take that on board and then they implement that. So I think you say the same that I do, which is we are not we are not the, the, the messiahs. We are not the, the beholden people that are going to tell you what to do because you are different to us and I'm different to you and you're different to Tom and Tom's different to Joe. Everyone is different. So you need to work out what's right for you and what's not right for you. And that's why I always say, in my opinion and in my experience, because that's all I got. <laughs> all I got is my opinion and my experience, and it's the same for everyone. You you may hate a lot of stuff I do, and some things you might dig, and that's cool. That's the way it should be. Uh, Peter, I think all your stuff is very cool. <laughs> uh, all my stuff uh, is, uh, yeah, my, my master list of cool I know, stuff. We, all, we all have our <laughs> catchphrases, cool. man. We have all got our things. I There's a bunch of things I repeat. <gasps> Ron's right on, right on. Right on, right on. Uh, he's got boom. You've yeah. got very cool. 
I've, I've cool. a shitload of them. Super cool. Uh, you know, it's you know it's good when it's yet yeah, a super. I've cool. been saying like, it's super very cool, cool, but then sometimes lately. it's like, oh, that's super cool. <laughs> I've been saying that a lot. Um, and one thing that I don't know whether you picked it up from me or I picked it up from you, but ending sentences with yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that that very Australian thing where we end at the end where we're just like, oh, so this is a really cool app. So what you got to do is you got to you got to get yourself set up here, yeah, and then you go and then you do this, yeah, and it's like, oh my god, I'm listening back to my own videos, going, oh my god, why do I have to say yeah at the end? Am I, am I that sort of worried that people like gonna understand me yeah. i've got both of them see that's an australian thing it's a it's a british thing as well but when i was in the u.s oh, i yeah. picked up right right is right. a thing like the right. oh man yeah. heaps of americans finish with that right. be like, you'd be like hey uh <laughs> did you like that movie it was pretty cool yeah and they'll be like right oh i picked that up so bad and when i got back here to australia i was saying it all the time but is another thing australians end on oh but like, that's, that's a queensland yeah. type thing isn't it i went out the other yeah. night it was wicked but but what, yeah, dude? Like, but what? But what? <laughs> so, um, been doing this. See, look, when I started this caper, I I, I wasn't too afraid. Uh, being an entertainer, uh, I found this pretty easy to jump into because, uh, you know, if you've been playing music and I've done theater and stage and, and music and all this radio, I've done acting, all this kind of stuff. So getting doing YouTube really wasn't a, a a problem for me. I fell right into it. Getting the setup, I, I really, you know, thought about it beforehand. Um, and yeah, hit the ground running. And yeah, sure, there's been lots of mistakes. I'm still making heaps of them. I still don't follow the uh, templates that people say because I refuse to because I am not a template. I am my own thing. And, and even if that's not getting me places as fast as it should, that's okay. Because, you know, yeah. as Frank Sinatra said, I do it my way and not always the same way that everybody else is telling you to do it is the right way. What advice yeah. do you have for people who are maybe watching this, who want to get into this caper of doing this YouTube stuff? Oh, it's like, it's like your final question, Jade. It's like, when's the best time to start music? And it's right now. And, and that is to, to just do it, to not, not to be a Nike slogan, but to just do it. And it's interesting as, I, as I'm sitting here thinking about and, and planning out for my show, because I know you mentioned before that you don't plan out your shows. Guess what? I do because yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very, we're very different. It's, yeah. it's cool. Like that, that's the thing. You need to be you. You need to be yourself. Uh, but I'm planning out my show and I'm thinking about this exact thing because in my show it's like my sixth anniversary. So I've got six lists of six things that I'm going to talk about because you know, I'm a little that's bit so sort of compulsive like that. that so I know, right? Jones. I love so, it. But, but I wanted to go through <laughs> like the six mistakes that I've made and the six things that I've learned. And when I was going through the mistakes, I was like, shit, early on, the biggest mistake I made was trying to copy other people. Like there's people that you respect and there's people that you look up yep. to. So folks that are watching your channel or my channel or Thomas or anyone else that they like, the tendency is that you not deliberately copy, but you respect them and you're like, wow, I love the way that they do that. So you end up trying, instead of being the best version of you, you end up trying to be a second rate Jade star or a, <laughs> like that, that's, and, and that's not to say that, you know, you, you shouldn't emulate people that you like and you shouldn't take on best practices and do things that, other people are doing but you you're not going to be as successful no one is going to be as good uh thomas christ as thomas christ so if you want to go and do you rock and uh, you know paint crosses under your eyes and try to sing like uh, electro music then <laughs> you're not going to do it as well as thomas christ i'm sorry he's just the best at it yeah. so you need to find what is right for you and yeah, take on the advice. But it's like I said before, it's like you get to pick and choose. You get to see what everything, this is the beauty part of, of life and you know, 2022 and the, the things that we do. You get to pick and choose. You get to look around and go, all right, I'm going to grab that from there. I'm going to grab that from there and that from there. You smoosh them all together. You add in your own, you sprinkle in your own fairy dust over the top and then you create it. It's just like your music. So if you want to do video or if you want to do music or if you want to learn to do any skill, yeah, find the way to take all the best bits of other people, uh, learn from them, and then make it your own. Absolutely. I agree 100%. And I just want to add to that. The most important thing, I think, is uh, for anybody who really is think, considering this, be honest. Be honest with yourself. Yeah. Be honest with your audience. Really, because if you start bullshitting the people, um, <laughs> they're going to see through it. And if you start bullshitting to yourself, you're going to put yourself in an early grave. Because it's it's very important for your mental health to be honest and, and tell people what's going on. And um, for someone like me who doesn't like to hear, you should take a break. Listen to the people who actually come and watch your show because <laughs> they care. Uh, I know yeah. the, the chat is here. I'm going to start calling him Chaz. I'm ripping off Hassan Piker. Um, 
the the warts here, I should say. Um, I get so many messages saying, "Take the time off. We we care. We 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 the show's still going to be there. We understand." And it's taken me so long to actually start listening to them. So you know, yeah. It's, it's important. In fact, I'm, I'm putting this here because I haven't talked about it. Look, I'm adding this is this is good. This is like prep. This is prep for my show. But <laughs> I, I'm adding in here that is uh, like don't let other people's. Um, I've got to type it as I do it. Don't let other people's opinion. Uh, yeah. So don't don't assume that everyone thinks the way you do because yeah. you are an individual. And if you're me, I'm I'm like when you do those my briggs, I know like people have different opinions of all that sort of stuff. But any if you do any sort of like assessment or analysis, I'm in like this little six percent bubble. And every time I do something like this. I'm in this rare little thing where I'm an introvert and, and I'm, but I'm very much an overthinker, but I'm also very judgmental. Um, so I've got all of these things going on that basically make me the worst possible fit for doing something like this. So if, if I looked at, if I, if I took all these things seriously, I'd be like, I should never do that. I should be like an accountant sitting in a room, like just typing on a keyboard all day long. Uh, but I don't. And the, the, my point with that is, other people will think differently to you and don't make your decisions based on your own judgment because our brains lie to us, especially those that, you know, you were talking mental health and, and stuff with Thomas before, especially those of us that have struggled with mental health and anxiety and depression and things before. Your brain is often not your best friend. Uh, sometimes your gut feel is a bit better than your brain, uh, but sometimes that takes you astray as well. Sometimes you do, as you just said there, you need to find trusted people to listen to yep. and take on board feedback without taking it too much to heart because the flip side of that is you don't want to be gaslit by people that tell you that you can't do certain things because that's the that's the extreme worst end of the other end so don't stop doing things because people say oh you're no good at that you'll never be good at that you need to stop that's bullshit uh, but at the other end sometimes you are blind sometimes we have blind spots and sometimes you can't see the forest for the trees and other people uh, can see things about you better than you can see them about yourself so you do need to be really conscious that sometimes your brain lies to you and sometimes what you think is not actually the case very true very very true and you know i did a, a it's like the warts thing that i did i i really love mm. doing that on here and somebody told me i shouldn't do it and i stopped doing it. i listened to one voice and it was the worst mistake i ever made that one voice and that one voice turned out to be a shit voice um so now bringing that back and, and the feedback i got back uh, from last week starting up again was overwhelming so many people were mm. like Thank you. Because I know during the, the inconvenience, um, the, the peak of the inconvenience, that shit helped. It helped me. Like, that's mm. that's the only reason I was doing it first, to help me get through the shit that was going on. And hopefully it was yeah. helping other people because it, it is important, you know. Um, and I'll, I'll, I want to talk about this too. So if you're considering building a channel, uh, doing this kind of thing, do what me and Thomas did. Trust me, it is it is a great way to get, and, and I don't see a lot of YouTube um, talking heads who have channels telling you how to get into YouTube channels, talking about this. Become a moderator mm. for another channel, somebody else's channel. Yeah. Get involved in somebody else's channel and just ha get a feel for how the chat works and how these things work. And it not only does it help you understand how the flow goes of doing this uh, daily or however, you know, long, the, uh, whenever live streams happen, it gives you an audience that you can, that will know who you are when you kick off. And mm. people won't, yep. like, you know, people won't go, oh, Jade's got a show and, and uh, we're all going to leave Pete Johns now and go over. To it doesn't happen like that. It, no. it, it, people just share the load. Oh, yeah, it's it's not a zero sum game. It's and it, and it's not. It, it's the old thing of you know the high tide that raises all ships. It's the same sort of thing with this. That there's enough room. There's enough bandwidth for everyone. And it, it, it's true. It's the best way to learn. Like you learn. You you learn about music by listening to music that you like. You learn about YouTube the same way. And I, I honestly believe that you can't, not that you can't, but it is much more challenging for you to be a video and a content creator if you don't consume video and content. Because the risk there is that you are not learning, you're not getting ideas, you're not expanding your knowledge and going, hey, that's actually a good idea doing something like that. Um, so, for instance, you know, you do your uh, your wheel that you do on your Patreon show, and that adds a bit of spice and a bit of something cool to, to what you do on your live shows. And then I noticed that StreamYard have this giveaway tool. And I mean, I don't do giveaways, a number of reasons, I'll, I'll talk about that in my show, but I thought, hey, we, we could do, and, and the concept I'm working on at the moment, 
is to do a, a spin-off, like not regularly, but occasionally, doing like a YML roulette where, you, you know, you can use a stream yard, you can use the uh, giveaway tool to spin something up. So that idea wouldn't have come about if I wasn't watching other people's live streams, if I wasn't watching you and what you're doing. Uh, so I think there's a lot of ideas that come from other people. And as you said, there's a lot of experience you can get because you don't know what you don't know. And the community, the community is number one. Like I know that sounds wanky. Like we all we all talk about it. I'd say oh, it's YouTube, not MeTube, and all that sort of stuff. But look around at the people that are successful. Short of people that are, you know, making prank videos or doing the viral, having a million million followers because they're so controversial or whatever. But you you run of the mill people that are just building strong channels are doing it through engagement with their community. Uh, if they want if people that are getting a long-term successful channel are building engagement with their community and they're actually valuing the people that are watching and they are putting their reputation and the respect of their viewers above everything else. Uh, and I'd like to just say that this uh, stream is brought to you by Nord VPN and God Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, at one point I, re I reached out to, uh, what's it, that game, I can't remember what called that like dungeon it's like age of empires no, or something it's like. one of those it? i reached out to them just for yeah. a joke to see if they would send. They, they wrote back to me and said you don't have enough subscribers i was like oh man i just got slapped down by one of the worst games ever on ios <laughs> you need to i need to reach out to who's it right Ray, ray can ray i did reach out to raycon i did and they never got back to me <laughs> oh, yeah, these are ugly like anyway <laughs> Yeah, the, the number of YouTubers that are the, and, and look, like I'm, I'm, I'd be a mega, super, massive hypocrite if I didn't say that. Like, this is my job. Like, I, I have, I have to think about finance. I have to think about revenue streams. Like, it's just part of it. But it's, it's a fun job. But it also has the admin side of it. So I don't begrudge people for looking for sponsorship deals. I don't begrudge people for getting free apps because both of us do that. Yep. I don't begrudge people for, for uh, reaching out to companies to get gear that we can then review and then pass on our honest opinion. To, to you folks, it's the, the challenge I have, and again, I know a lot of people don't care about this, but the challenge I have is when people are pimping things that they clearly don't use, that they're clearly only doing because that was the highest bidder to their channel. And uh, yeah, I don't know, attaching your name to something um, that's potentially questionable or, or is not aligned with what your viewers or your audience are about. I don't know. It's not, it's, not, it's not for me. But again, I've got, I've got to put that my brain test against that. But maybe the other 94% of people don't care. And, and I learned that with things like putting ads in my YouTube videos that I didn't put mid-roll ads in for the longest time because I don't like mid-roll ads. And then I actually went out and asked my audience and said, hey, I'm, I'm considering this. I don't really don't want to do it because I don't like them personally. I think they're intrusive. And people are like, dude, if you've got to make some coin, just do it. Like if I'm watching a half hour show and there's one ad that I can skip at the 15 minute mark, I don't care. I'm like, oh, okay. So people are different to me. And I think that was the big eye opener that I went, okay, I can't make every decision based on what pisses me off because it probably doesn't piss off 90% of the population. And they're the people that are actually watching. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, thank you, uh, uh, Cam. It was actually Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> it was Raid. Hey, can I uh, can I ask you a couple of questions before I go? I'm going to go in five sure. minutes and set up for my show. So, um, you've been doing these 500 shows now. If, what what is the biggest surprise or the biggest thing that you when you came in you were obviously expecting some things and like you said you've done a lot of this stuff before but what's been the thing that's surprised you the most over the last sort of year and a half doing this show that you didn't expect? <laughs> I didn't expect to get to this many episodes. I expected. I seriously <laughs> expected this would be something that was a flash in the pan, and um, mm. yeah, that people wouldn't watch. And I would uh, go do something else. I, I, I actually expected mm. the inconvenience to last a lot shorter than what it has. So I thought mm -hmm. I'd get back to gigging, all that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, I, that's been the biggest surprise, that people actually want to come back each day. Um, the Patreon was a massive surprise too. I kicked that off when I had very small amount of, uh, not even a thousand subscribers. And just the mm. support I've had over at Patreon's been overwhelming um that i'm still here and because i but i do love it it's it's taken over my life yeah. unfortunately my creativity has gone down the shit but <laughs> the 2022 so hopefully we'll be able to drive that back up again mm. but yeah, yeah that's just being here <laughs> yeah i didn't think i'd still be doing this 
And, and how many are you going to do? What, what what number do you get to where you go, uh, I'm going to stop now? Or is it just an infinite thing? Is it going forever? This is going to go forever. I want this to evolve. I, like I definitely it. want it to evolve. Yeah, yeah. I, I said it at the beginning of the show, I'm really interested in doing interviews. It's... It's mm-hmm. what excites me the most on here. I love doing the app reviews. I love making music, all that kind of stuff. But my, I love interviewing people. I love getting to know people. And I would love to be able to, you know, uh, keep interviewing smaller artists. And like already this year, I have the dream. I have once a month now, I've got a sponsored show. I get to try and get a bigger artist on and, and still keep the community-based interviews going. That's where I'd love to go. I would love to turn this into an interview based thing. I'd love to be the Joe Rogan of YouTube now that he's over at Spitify, but not a cunt. <laughs> there you go, folks. We dropped the C word on the show. I had to do it once. Oh, the, the actual C word, not the C word that I call exactly. the C word. <laughs> but no, oh, you know, I would love to, yeah. to be the Joe Rogan that is not insane and just... That's what I loved about Joe Rogan when I first found him. I found his interviews intriguing because he just had these conversations with people and and it was just open flowing and you really got to hear. Like James Hetfield went on there and he talked about beekeeping for 40 minutes. Like 40 minutes of beekeeping. I love that shit, man. So, yeah, I'd love to do that. Interviews are my thing, but yeah. Well, that, that'd be good. If you if you could be the non C word, uh, Joe Rogan, that would just be amazing. Because uh, uh, we need we need more we need more goodness and light in the world and uh, information as opposed to the opposite. Absolutely. That, uh, mis- well, I know you have to go, and I want to uh, ask you what's going on over <laughs> in your channel after this show. Tell us about this six year bizzo. Yeah, so uh, I'm doing doing my six year. So the first of February, which it is here in Australia. Now it's the 31st of Jan for many folks, but it is the first of February here in Australia. And on February the first, 2016, I uploaded a video about music memos, an app that no longer exists, which shows how old the the channel is now. And uh, that was the the first YouTube video that I created and uploaded. And then uh, yeah, over the last six years, I've uploaded a large number. I actually got a quiz. I'm going to ask people people how many think that videos they think I've published over that time so i won't spoil how many but it's been lots and lots of videos over that time i've learned a bunch and um what i wanted to do similar to what we were chatting about right now is uh, is go through that and i think it was thomas or yourself or someone that, that, that had the idea let's make it all about six so i'm going six 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 i'm going six lists of six items uh that we're going to talk about for our six year anniversary so talking about the mistakes i've made the things i've learned the best moments uh the top videos which is very weird the top ranking videos of mine on the channel um and fix things that i don't like about uh creating and uh that i wish didn't exist which will be a bit a bit of fun so yeah it just it'll just be a, a general chat a ch- opportunity to uh, to uh, reflect upon some things and you might learn a few things along the way fantastic guys i think you know where to find pete i'm sure one of my amazing moderators will uh put a link <laughs> Go over there. um and i want to thank you pete for not only encouraging me to do this uh for being a fantastic friend for once again allowing me to break bread with you and your family i'll never forget that look forward to you know once again seeing you in the flesh again because we had a blast and uh yeah thanks for all you do what well, during your show today uh, are you doing two hours today uh, yeah, it's unplanned. Between one to two hours. It depends how long. Uh, you, you know I like to talk, yeah, so yeah. I'm probably going to rant so a bit and go a bit long. So halfway through, <laughs> I'm going to have to leave you for 15 minutes because I'll just tell you this before you go. I have my yeah. first appointment with a doctor on the telephone to get a prescription for fucking nicotine for vape juice since the government's oh. changed regulations in this country. Now you have to get a prescription and see a doctor and they're charging me $95 for the 15 minute phone call just so they can give me a prescription and then i have to order it from new zealand man this this well, government i'm telling you oh, this government it's ridiculous i'm really glad that you know they're focusing on the important yeah. health issues it's not like we have another health crisis that yeah. probably needs a little bit more attention <laughs> right now but, uh, yeah. Yeah. so you know i've got off smoking i'm much healthier than what i am but you know let's just make you go and get a prescription to get vape oh it's ridiculous anyway 
He'll be back at the servo. We're buying seventy dollar packets of fags. If That's what careful. I'm going to tell it today on the phone. I'm saying <laughs> if you don't give me this uh, this nicotine, I'll be at the shop later on today getting smoked. So she'll give it to me. Uh, and that's not an exaggeration. For those outside of Australia, it literally costs between fifty yeah. and seventy dollars for a packet of smokes here yeah. in Australia. Like fifty two dollars no, no a pack currently. It's ridiculous. All right, thank you so yeah. much. Thank you, uh, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. And I'll see you over on your show. And thanks for coming and joining me here today. Thank you. Thank you to you. And thank you to everyone. I didn't have the chat up here because I just wanted to have a, a nice chat with Jade here. So if you think I was ignoring you and you, you said were. something really witty, um, then uh, yeah, I apologize. You and, were. Uh, I'll go back and <laughs> you, you always start the show like that. You just go, hi, it's Pete Johns. You talk for 15 minutes. We're all in the chat going, Pete, you've got no camera. <laughs> no camera, Pete. And then you're like, oh, I guess I should have been watching the chat. I, I love you, Pete, so much, man. <laughs> I go off. I like it. All right. All right. Mate, have a good see one. See you later. I'll catch you out. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. See now. ya. Click, gone, and there. He, oh, look, he's frozen on that. Look, somebody take us. Can somebody who's on their iPhone right now turn their phone on the side and take a snapshot of that, please? Please take a screenshot of that. That oh, hang on, I'll, please. If <laughs> moderators, if somebody could, hang on, somebody please get a screenshot of that. <laughs> Pete's going to hate my guts. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. Great, guys. All right, let me get off there. Hey, um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here today. And I know you probably expected me to sit here and go through videos and stuff like that. But instead, I wanted to prop up a couple of people who helped me get to here. Uh, because, you know, it's not all about, like, you know, tooting your own horn. I Sure, I played a bit of my own music at the start bit of FMC for the new premiere. The premiere for the new FMC clip is actually now available. So if you check, it was I made it uh, public at the beginning of the show. So uh, thank you, Pete. It was the best parting gift I could have ever wished for. So the FMC clip is now available for you to go and check out. I can see, oh, look, somebody's already left a comment on it. There you go. Um, so look, I want to thank you guys, uh, the warts, who sit here in the chat every day, people who leave comments that I'm not always get back to on time, uh, people who are Patreons, um, my wonderful admins, Cy, Russ, Thomas Christ. Um, who else do I have as an admin? Jeez. Um, uh, 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 Kev Hart. Kev Hart. <laughs> uh, Pete Johns is actually a moderator as well. Um, have I forgotten anyone? I don't think I've forgotten. If I have, I'm, I'm, I'm a dick. Um, but no, thank you guys for all that you do. I want to thank all the developers who continuously provide me apps uh, to to you know give away on my Patreon, apps to review for you guys, apps to do tutorials on. Without the developers, I wouldn't even have a show, yeah? Those, those guys crank out some amazing stuff. Um, I want to thank you all for making fantastic music, yeah? You, you guys blow me away all the time. I sit here and I, I play music at the opening of the show these days as the show's evolved. I don't, I'm never going to do a show like Thomas Christ or Pete or Metalhead Hippie because that's just a lot of extra work and the market's saturated at the moment. Yeah. So I'm doing the yeah, right? Um, so I just, I, I, I enjoy playing somebody's song at the beginning of each day. And, you know, I don't get you guys to send me your tracks. I just choose something that I like and play it because I, it's, it's less admin. But uh, look, thank you all for the, the super chats you give me, the support over on, on the uh, live shows that, that I do on the weekend, the opening hours, as I said, the Patreons, everything that you guys do. Uh, I'm incredibly overwhelmed each and every single fucking day. Um, Bear says, Jade, your show has helped me understand stuff a bit more. I'm glad because that's what this is about. Sure, I have a character and a personality and I like to be a dick and, and all that stuff. But this show will always be 100% about you, about seeing you grow and get better. And and if it's an, an app that helps you get better or if it's talking about mental health and well-being or if it's just uh, seeing a performance, that's all I care about. I want to see you guys get better and better and better and better and better and better. All right. I love you all. I want to thank you so much for being here today. Um, there's so many of you to name and I'm going to go out today with a preview of my album, which is actually on the front of my page, um, of my forthcoming Dread Circus album. It goes for about 10 minutes, 
Thank you, Alex Backus, for the super chat. There it is, right there, right above my head. Thank you, thank you so much. You guys rock. Let's get to the next uh, thing we're going to get to is we're almost at 2,000 subs. 2,000 subs! Holy shit. It's amazing. So um, thank you, Gortium, Dave, Pain to Get, Alex Backus, Deep Gravity, Kim Hardnutter, Gary Hubs, Tremor Bear, Tom Carrera, Christopher Rossi, Joe Glenn, Russ. Russ says, check your email. Jesus Christ, Russ. Uh, what's in my email? Uh, but we're, I'm going to go out and play this uh, this tr this uh, thing from my album. I don't see an email yet. There it is. Uh, oh, thanks. It's the photo of Pete. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much, Russ. He's so quick. All right, so this is what I'm going to play. You may have seen this before. This is a little preview thing I put together in 2018, which has a selection of my songs and a selection of the uh, animation that I've been working for ages uh, to uh, put together the, the video clips for all the songs for my Dread Circus album. Thank you, Thomas Christ, for the super chat as well. Thank you all so much. Um, this is uh, Dread Circus, the non-conformist album official promo, which was done in 2018. Hope you enjoy it. And I will see you tomorrow. Head over to Pete's after this and hang out with Pete. And um, I'll see you tomorrow where we're going to finally release this song I made in Loopy Pro. If all goes to plan. All right, guys. Remember, do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better. And we all rise together. And I'll see you tomorrow. Love you all.
Hello, 